That is it. That's the lily bell. Walt Disney's passion for steam trains is well known, and Diane Disney Miller, Walt's daughter, lived every moment of that passion. He did such beautiful work on it. He built the cab and this engine here. He built the whole caboose, and I didn't realize it, but he did build all the boxcars. He built them over in the carpenter shop of the studio. Walt would come in, and he would ask if he could join in in the project, and my father taught him how to do machine work. Uh, mill parts, uh, turn pieces on a lathe, and so on. Lay out a pattern, silver solder, and he learned all of these from my dad. The Lily Bell, as Walt's miniature steam train is known, was named after his wife. It used to run on railroad tracks around his home in Holmby Hills. So they started to build this one eight scale scratch build in the machine shop. He came home one day, and put this for dinner, and he came to the table and he set this thing on it. He said, that is a piston, the caboose. At the end of this train, the little yellow caboose, that's all his handwork, and the interior is perfect. I was like 16 or 17, and Sharon was, would, would have been then 13, and it was the crazy old dad thing. The Lily Bell is now on display at the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. This really occupied him. Then Walt started on another big project. The train didn't last that long, and in his backyard, when he had Disneyland, he was out there every weekend. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.